Hello guys, Saprian from FU for All, and in this video I'll talk about computer simulation. So, if this is the first video you're ever watching about computer simulation, then you are in the right place, because I've, I'm an expert in simulation for 15 years or more, uh, and I want to explain to you what simulation is. Uh, the reason being that l very lately I watched this uh, new Matrix movie and it made me think about the first time I watched the Matrix uh, trilogy a very long time ago and I didn't know anything about simulation at that time. So I saw this simulation as uh, some kind of control tool to, to make this virtual world uh, behave as if it was real, you know, to kind of trick people into, you know, uh, well, you, you know, the Matrix movies, I guess, uh, if you're watching this. Um, and and then I became an engineer, I did all those um, simulation works, and I finally understand what, what, what simulation is. So I decided to explain to you what is real computer simulation, what, uh, what it is used for, and what, you know, what you can do with it. Uh, and I'll try to stay in a very, very uh, simple terms uh, to explain it to, to, to you as I'm supposing you're, you're not an engineer, you don't know uh, much about computer simulation. Um, and if in this video you have comments at any time, just leave them uh, here in, in the comment section or in the, on the blog. Uh, and I'll maybe do another video after that uh, to, to answer your, your uh, questions. So, uh, what is computer simulation? So, to understand what is simulation, you have to understand a bit what uh, engineers are doing. Why? Because simulation is a tool for engineers. Um, engineers are using simulation to ease up their work. So, uh, and there are a lot of different kind of engineers in the world, in every industry, uh, in every kind of, uh, you know, work. So, what engineers are doing, said very simply, is they are building things. So by things, I mean it can be systems, it can be object, it can be any kind of either technological uh, object or not. Uh, so everything you see around you can be basically designed and built by an engineer. Uh, the, the, the photo camera I'm looking at right now has been designed by an engineer. The building I'm standing in has been designed by an engineer. Uh, the cars I'm driving in uh, are also designed by engineers. So everything you see around you has been designed and built by engineers. And um, so how do engineers do that? They do it by first understanding how the things work um, and, and then by, um, you know, changing some things, by uh, making new design, thinking about new interaction, changing the shape of object, of parts, um, until you know it continues to work or it is uh, it is good. So there's de there's definitely a purpose in uh, what engineers are doing, and the purpose is one to make the object behave uh, as it should be. Uh, second is to make it um, to make sure the object is not break uh, breaking or uh, you know it will not break under special conditions, and third to make sure that it is safe for the people and for the users of this uh, object. So, give you a few examples. Um, people who are designing buildings are structural engineers. Uh, so, they make sure that the structure of the building is solid enough, that all the beams uh, are wide enough and they are made in the right material, etc, um, etc. Et so, uh, they have to calculate all that. So, in the past, when there were no computers in this world, um, engineers were just calculating everything on a sheet of paper or on a, and you know uh, and those calculations generally are using laws of physics so if you're applying a load a force or something you are you have certain equations that will tell you how much um, you know the system you are studying will behave under a certain type of loading so it can be a force it can be a temperature it can be an electrical current it can be a uh, velocity of a fluid. Uh, a lot of those things uh, which are measured in the real world, uh, then you can 
measure them in the system. So you have to build the actual system um, in, in order to measure the results going out of it. So in, uh, in the world without a computer, you had to build a prototype and uh, a prototype is very expensive um, and it's not possible to build prototypes for everything. Uh, so, you know, you, you don't build a prototype of a plane just to crash it and see how it behaves. You just can't do that. So, um, so, so engineers have found a way to make it uh, to a computer and to transform everything that was done to prototype into, um, into a computer model. So simulation is about trying to make, um, trying to replicate the real world uh, behavior in uh, a virtual uh, computer model. And uh, I'm saying model because um, you you can never replicate like 100% of the real world in the, in the computer. Uh, you, you're only replicating things that you're interested in. And generally for engineers, it's uh, the physical properties of uh, the model. So for example, the material in which this model is made, um, the shape of the geometry of, of this model, and then uh, the physics applied to it. Um, and, and you know, we know the physics because the laws of physics have been put into equations uh, centuries ago. So we're still using the same equations, except that they have been uh, solved numerically into a computer to give you instantly, or well, not instantly, but to give you those results, so to calculate the things you need to know. And that's why that's that's what the computer is doing. Uh, it takes the input from the engineers, so the various um, value of material, coefficient forces, uh, velocity, all this kind of stuff. Uh, it puts it on the 3D model, so you have to build also the 3D model, of course. Uh, and then it, uh, the software goes through all of this, calculate using a solver, uh, those equations, and, and then it gives you the results that uh, you want to see. And when you have those results, you can make a report and say, okay, now uh, I found out that this, you know, using this kind of shape for, for this uh, model, it, it will not going to work because uh, you know I have such displacement and stresses that are dangerous or something. So you make a report and then you can redesign, you can optimize until you get something which is good uh, and, and you know fulfills the regulations or fulfills the, the goal of, uh, of your company. Uh, and this is generally what a simulation is. It's a tool for engineer to, to, to design things. So, so no, our world is not ruled by machines uh, like in Matrix, at least I hope so. <laughs> um, and simulation is, is just a tool for engineers. Uh, so I, I'm going to stop here because I could say a lot about simulation and you know there's already a lot of this blog. You see I've been doing that for a very long years. Uh, and but I, I'll try to do more videos, you know, which are going back to basics for uh, you know young engineers or people who want to know a bit more about simulation. Uh, so if you want to know anything uh, at all, just leave a comment, leave it uh, here, and let me know what you, what you want to know, and I'll be glad to answer uh, this. So and if you like this video, this kind of uh, you know very uh, you know. Uh, explainful video. <laughs> you can uh, put a like on this video, let me know. Uh, and thank you very much uh, for, for watching this and for, um, you know, uh, watching my content. Thank you very much.